For many golfers, once you hit the bunker, it's over. Just take your stroke penalty and move on. Thankfully, today we're going to help you fix that and give you some hope moving forward. Andy Everett is back to help you out in this week's edition of Golf Tips. Welcome to another edition of Golf Tips, brought to you by MK Golf Tech, San Antonio's most preferred golf club club fitters. We're at the first tee of San Antonio. This is Jeff Burns. He's one of the instructors out here. Jeff played on a number of tours, including some time on the PGA Tour throughout his career, and now you're a teacher out here. And Jeff, we've got a difficult bunker shot, and you told me that you learned this shot playing on the Asian Tour, and Seve Ballesteros kind of helped you out with this. Give us an idea of what we're going to try to uh, perform here with this short-sided pin. Thanks, Andy, for being at the first tee today. Yes, we're going to hit the dreaded buried lie, and the purpose of what we're going to discuss today is short-sided flag, ball has to go high in the air, stop relatively short so you have an easy tap in putt. What we're going to do is we're going to discuss feet placement, how you put yourself into the bunker, make sure you feel like you're sitting on a horse, and it's called the recoil shot. And the reason why it's the recoil shot, when I was in, on the Asian tour, the bunkers were a little bit different over there, so we had to be very creative and figure out how to get this out of the bunker. You hit the shot and you recoil the club, and that's what we're going to show Andy here in just a second. All right, let's see if we can pull this shot off and uh, maybe get up and down from the bunker. All right, we've got a semi-buried lie here in the bunker. Uh, we've got a short-sided green, so I'm going to dig in a little bit more with my left foot, correct? Yes, sir. That helps set the weight distribution for your balance points, so you have more weight on your left side. Good, that shaft's going to be more vertical, pointing more at your belt buckle. Open the face a little bit more, Andy. A lot of bunker shots you're here, you want it right here for this Correct. one, right? Correct, and open the face a little bit more and regrip it. There you go, good, and you want to feel like that club head's going to hit my hand going up, and let that club stay in the bunker and then recoil it back so it goes high. There you go, awesome. All right, Jeff, I've been playing golf 45 years. I learned something today. I've never tried that shot before. That's a pretty unique way to try to get out of the bunker when you're short-sided with a semi-buried lie. I like to be creative, and that's one of the shots that I learned as a rookie. You know, I was playing the Hong Kong Open, and it allows you to hit a shot that's high and soft so you're not flying it over the bunker on a dreaded buried lie. All right, uh, if you want to come out to the first tee and get lessons from you, how do people get in touch with you? Please do. We've got the website, First Tee of Greater San Antonio, on the screen. Underneath that is my telephone number. You can reach out to us either fashion. We're just north of the Pearl on Mulberry in between 281 and Broadway. Come see us. All right, that's today's edition of Golf Tips. It's brought to you by MK Golf Tech, San Antonio's most preferred golf club club fitters. I'm Andy Everett for Sports Tonight. Golf Tips, brought to you by MK Golf Technologies, San Antonio's premier golf fitter.